What up guys, this is Fear Revan. Right now I have some PCOQ footage against for you guys. Um, this match is against Obey. It's Villa Domination. And this is a little different video. We're going to be spectating Ego. And he winds up going 2-19. and 19. Yeah, that 2-19, and 19, I said it. And I'm just going to go through what I think he did wrong and what you know you shouldn't do when you play Villa Domination. So up to start here, he has a pretty good rush going back doors. He goes behind the ammo crate here, pushes up. See now, he should have peeked around that corner and saw that the guy was there. I mean, pretty much everyone that plays PCLQ knows that Proofy does go to those back trees every time. So he should have just peeked around the corner and saw that he was there. So That nade he threw right there, he threw that too late, and it was a little too far to the left. So he just has to line that up better. And he's just running out in the open right now. He probably shouldn't have hopped on B, even though he does almost get it. So he's halfway right now, yeah. That was probably a bad cap. I mean, I believe they were all alive at the time. And we didn't really have a setup. So that was a bad, you know, bad flag attempt there. Now we have them all down, you know, what happened on B. He tries to need the spawn. Stones, stuns, but he should have stayed behind, uh, should have stayed behind the cut. And trying to push their spawn right here. He does see the red dots and he just misses his shots right here. Could have got a nice two piece, but just missed his shot. So he's gonna spawn bottom villa. Great spawn. You can aid B flag, you can cover A, and he throws a stun back door. He sees them on B. I don't know why he tried to prone through that window. I mean, I'm pretty sure he could crouch through it. So that just, that wasn't a smart play in my opinion. So now he's getting a beach spawn, so right here we need to go to C flag and try to cap it, which is what he's doing. So he's running for C, and he starts capping it. He does have a guy to his right, that's Twiz, he's trying to cover him. Uh, I don't know why he hit fired there, I'm pretty sure aiming in your gun makes it more accurate. Yeah, no, that's just my thought. So he... That was a bad hit fire. He should, probably should have aimed in. Now he's getting a good A spawn again. And he's going to go back doors again. And he's looking back doors. I don't know why he tried to throw a stun there. I mean, once again, you got to peek around the corners, see if anyone's there, and play accordingly. So, once again, he gets this spawn again, and he's just going to run back to double doors. Usually in competitive match, you really don't want to have some sort of repetition that was a bad shot as he shot as the guy was running away. He does stun him and he's looking for him. And then Twiz does pick up the kill. And then he probably should have pre-aimed that corner because he should have known that Breezy was coming through those doors. And, you know, he could have got the kill. So right now I want to say he's like 0-7 right now. And he just misses his shot on Crump there. And, you know, he's not doing so hot right now, but the game is still close. We're only down by 22 points. But now they just got a three cap, so their lead's going to increase. So we need to cap a flag now. And he's just going to hop on C. He's going to throw stones to the mid fountain. Uh, yeah, he's 0-8 right now. And, you know, he gets taken out by Crump on the flag. We probably should have had two guys on that flag, though, so it wasn't entirely... He goes full right there. But now we're getting a double door spawn. And I believe it was me that jumped on jumped B. So they would throw their name. Oh no, never mind. That was RJ jumped B. Now we have three guys on B. And we do cap B here. And Ego gets his first kill, guys. He's now one in ten, I believe. Yep. One in ten with two caps as they retake B. Now he's getting this good spawn. Um that was a decent nade. That might have got him off the flag. RJ gets a nice two piece here, and we're going to try to retake B. Proofy does a great job of getting the four piece right here. Good play by him. He's a great player. And right now, he goes, you know, he's not doing so well. This is one of his, like, bad games, you know. Sometimes he just plays like he has Down syndrome, and. You know, we're trying to work on with him on, you know, playing smarter and stuff. 
And right now he's 1 in 12, so, you know, it happens. You can't be perfect every time. Right here, I think he should have ran to C instead of going back doors. I mean, we have we have two guys in bar, and he just ran back to be with them. And then he just missed a kill on Proofy. And then Proofy gets, I think, another three-piece because he's a beast. I don't know where that nade was supposed to go. I don't know why. That was pretty much a waste of a nade. And he gets nice by Proofy as I, I did cap C. And he's 1-14 in 14 right now. You know, Ego's a great player when he plays, you know, the way he plays. He usually plays a nice, smart, objective game. And right here, you see him, he's just running with his head off, you know. He's trying to solo cap B. See, when you're trying to solo cap a flag, at least aim in at something. So when they do come across a corner, even if it's not that corner, you know, at least you had a shot because you're already aimed in waiting. Okay, off the start here, he he wants us to push beach side when we're spawning near C. And he just ran up the middle. And he's just, you know, he's going forward too fast. And he's not really checking anything. So he just ran through. He jumped on. And I don't know what he what that was. He just tried to follow Twiz around. That was just a bad play in general, you know. He saw Twiz go off the flag, and then he just went back on the flag, and then he got shot in the back. Sees a guy mid-cut, does get the stun on him, but I don't think he gets it. Yeah, you should have aimed in, you know, around the corner. That should have been a nice, easy kill. But it happens, you know, people have their bad games. Can't be dropping 30 kills every game. And you see here, I'm pushing up, I got a kill. And then Ego does see this guy back doors, gets his second kill. Props to him, props to him, second kill of the game. And we're going to try to cap B here, but we both get naded and no one's there to catch it. And I believe RJ dies here, so we lost all the control we had, but we do get a good spawn. And I, I, I don't, how do you miss a nade like that? I've never seen that happen. Like, he was just stunned. He couldn't move, and you missed your nade on him. And then you failed the jump. And now you're just trying to, like, control statue. All right, all right. Now there are 27 seconds left. We pretty much lost. And... Right here, you know, we should be trying to cap a flag, trying to cut down on the lead at least. And this is, you know, a pretty easy two-piece. Probably should have had that, but things definitely weren't going his way this game. It happens. You know, we still love you, Ego. We had a great laugh about this after when we watched it in theater. And I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, more videos coming soon. Peace.